This is Boxing Tickets and I in association with SB Sports. We're here at Falls Park. Uh, delighted to be joined once again with Kurt Walker. Kurt, you moved to 8 no there tonight, obviously. Comfortable, obviously, out in there. Obviously, you, you, you said in advance, you know he's a very durable, very strong, obviously, opponent. I guess for you, it's probably just enjoying the atmosphere of the Falls Park. That's it, mate. Um, more so uh, trying to improve. Trying to work on the style changing, which I'm very happy with. Like I said in the interview, 90% happy, 10% not happy with things that I was doing wrong, but that's normal. And then I'll go back to England here and work on the things I did wrong and try to improve on the things I did right as well. So I'm happy overall. I guess as a, as a fighter, you're probably never, you, you know, you're never obviously 100% obviously in your performance. Even if you stop someone in 10 seconds, you're still not going to be happy with something because you wanted, wanted something else. That probably shows the, the passion you have for chasing perfection. Everybody wants a perfect performance, but I guess obviously another eight good solid rounds and it's, it's vital obviously you're only 18 months as a pro so these rounds are going to be crucial for you moving forward definitely I think in the armor shot selection was the best shot selection was the best it's been eight rounds I was alright I could I feel like I could have done 12 at that pace no problem but obviously I was dictating it but it's all about aiming towards me getting a title in December and another eight round there isn't going to do me any, any bad so I'll get another one in just another different type of opponent, hopefully October, and then I'm ready to fight. The higher level of opponent for me, the better I will be, so I'm looking forward to it. Is that pretty much now one more, obviously, in October then before a title? Is that the Yeah, just, just keep changing opponents. Something different every time, and I think I've actually... What am I, eight? No, now I've had eight different opponents. All who have eight different things they bring to the table, so... I've got through them all, mostly with ease. And just, I feel like I'm definitely turning into a good professional fighter now, and I've still a long way to go, though, so... What what is it obviously about them picking opponents for you that obviously they're suffering suffering wrong? Obviously you have opponents that come and they obviously take your head off. Obviously opponents biting you. That opponent obviously had there the night was mad obviously after the win and stuff yesterday. He was going, I love to fight, I love to fight. What is it? Do they just like picking opponents just for something different for you? I don't know, I think they think I'm fucking some easy or something, but uh, it's good for me because I've been at the highest level in the amateurs for a long, long time, so for me to come in, I have to start at a bit higher than everyone else, and I have to be matched in a different way, which makes me uncomfortable, I think, and I've been that, so I'm, ready. I'm getting all different shapes and sizes, so when it comes to the hard stuff, I'll be ready. You're, you're sort of, I would say you're probably ready well past, obviously, domestic level. Do you sort of see it as a compliment the fact that nobody, obviously, domestically is sort of calling you out, or they sort of, people see in your amateur pedigree, and obviously just know just to avoid Kurt Walker, so you're just sort of having to, to do probably what Carl Frampton done and sort of avoid the, the, the domestic sort of scene in some ways and just push on? Oh, I don't mind. Um, what other Jimmy things? I just want to get there as, as fast and as smart as possible as well. I don't want to be hanging about fighting domestic people for nothing when there's no thing. If it was a good fight, I would take it, but I want to get there straight away, build my way up quickly, but not too quickly. and. Jamie will guide me right, Jamie and Michael, and I'm, I'm looking forward to what the future holds. When you look at the, the first 18 months and obviously you look back and obviously 8 no, obviously everything's been perfect for you so far, I don't think you've lost a round yet either. Um, so when you sort of look back and obviously how you're being guided so far, you probably couldn't ask for probably any more than you've been getting. No, I think if you watch, if you were to have every single fight in mind or sitting there on the TV, you'd see an improvement in every single fight, and that's guidance of, of a different shape and size of opponent. Um, it's all about improvement for me. I've always been like that, and that's all it means. Just, I just want to get as as high, as quick, and as as smart as possible. Just up there to the top and, and win big fights. What would you say to obviously anybody else, obviously in the amateur code, that's maybe sort of second, you know, sort of dwindling the fact that maybe going pro. Some people get so used to an amateur style for so long they don't want to go pro. What would you sort of say to someone that's sort of maybe thinking, well, I go pro, well, I'll stay amateur. Is there a right sort of time to sort of to go pro? Well, obviously, we see my party. Obviously, maybe it's a bit too late was never sort of something they really wanted to do would you say there's a sort of ideal time to go like for, for you obviously after the olympics was probably perfect i'd say if your dream is to go to the olympics wait until you have that chance if you don't make it you don't make it then go but i'm proof that i'm the highest i'm the most if you have an amateur boxer wrote down i'm an amateur boxer on toes i did it more in the team than anyone i was bouncing around like a kangaroo and i was able well i haven't done it yet but i'm still adapting to the pro thing it'll probably take me another year or two I've still got another six years left of boxing in me at least, so it's still going to take me time, I'll probably not get it the last two years, but anyone can do it, but if your dream is to go to the Olympics, stay, that's what I would say. It's, it's, it's one of them sometimes, isn't it, they say it's, you know, we see people in, and maybe their style doesn't switch across, or they always think their style is sort of more suited to a pro thing. 
you can have any sort of style, you know, we've obviously seen people that probably weren't good as an amateur, but obviously they've excelled in the professional sport. You know, it's a sport, I guess, for all sort of styles and sort of tactics, and just, a, I guess, being guided probably is the, the best thing. I think no matter how much of an amateur style you have, it doesn't matter, you can always change, you can always do something to bring something to your advantage in any kind of, in any sport, in anything in life, so all you have to do is do the right things and focus. Like if I can do it, anyone can do it, especially the way I box on my toes for three rounds, like a kangaroo, like I said, so it's just about dedication in them. I guess the thing for you, obviously with the young family and things, obviously you're spending obviously a lot of time in London. Are you going to spend a few weeks now back at home before going back in the coming October? Yeah, I'll probably have about five or six weeks here. Got a few weddings, but Brandy Irvine's getting married, I'm best man, so... Who's saying. getting married? Brandy Irvine. Brandy's getting married and you're the best man. When's the stag do? Two, two weeks. It's going to be like, you know, someone's going to get lost, someone's going to end up in a different for, country. Uh, I'm back home for six weeks or whatever, and then when I go back to England, I'm back to England until December, more or less, so I'll have two fights and then I'll, I'll enjoy Christmas with my family. Obviously, since I interviewed the other day, it's probably looking like Mick's sort of maybe, maybe obviously looking at moving on from obviously Adam. There's obviously everything's amicable and everything else. I guess, and obviously for you, obviously missing, I guess for you, it might give you a break where sort of you don't have your one of your co-managers sort of keeping an eye on you every two minutes. Nah, it's, it'd be different because you need that company, even like, I don't mind being by myself, I think I was saying to someone there earlier, even the, the little things like driving the train and talking to people, it makes a big difference. When I, I was over there, the whole camp more or less there by myself, it was tough. Just talking to yourself, driving the car there, train, driving back constantly every day for how long. I'll miss him definitely, but he's going the bigger has to look after himself and I think he'll come back and win a world title, I honestly do. Definitely, I firmly echo that. Obviously, I guess it's it takes a it takes a man sometimes to sort of go and try something new. They can just get into a, a mantle, just sticking to what they're at. And you know, for Mick, obviously, he probably knows maybe one more chance at this. And if he wants to achieve his dreams, he has to do what's probably right for him. Hundred percent. It's a selfish sport, and you have to do it. He has to look after his family and and get if he wants to reach the top, he has to do what he has to do. But I'm going to see him. He's still managing me, so it's no big deal. Like, it's just you're not going to avoid him that easily. I'll, I'll still be checking in the to make sure I'm doing my hills principle. So it'll be fine. Yeah, now listen, thanks very much for your time as always. Enjoy your, your couple of weeks off, and I'm sure we'll see you back in the ring very, very soon. Good man, Stevie, thank you, appreciate it. Cheers, Kurt, thank you. Cheers,